Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we have a question right here. It's asking determine the force in each member of the truss. State if the members are in tension or compression. So first of all, we know the force is uh, acting here up up part. So we know this is going to be acting opposite to that, and therefore this one is going to be opposite. And this one, uh, this one is gonna go through this, and we know in middle nothing because there's no force acting on it. Therefore, this is gonna be acting opposite to this, and this one goes through this, like this, and same here, and this one is acting downward. So we have found all the directions here. So first of all, uh, I would like to find the forces at D. So let's calculate at D. At D, first I, I would like to take the vertic vertical components. So if you see this, uh, we have uh, two two vertical components. AD is here, and CD is here, right? And if you see, AD is going upside and CD is going downside. So first of all, we have to know the angle between them. But if you see this one, it's four and height is four and width is four. Therefore, we can say tan tan inverse four by four. The angle comes out to be forty-five degree. Therefore, I can say uh, AD is sine forty-five. Let's take a. So first of all. Before I do that, sum of sum of all the f y is zero in statics. So I take that first. So let's do the a d first. A d is going upside. I take the upside positive. So a d sine forty five. Forty-five and minus C D is going downward side, so C D minus C D sine forty-five is equal to zero. So if I solve for this, I, it will become A D is equal to C D. Now let's take the horizontal components. So since uh, horizontal component, if you see both of them are going in the same direction. Since uh, also AD is equal to CD, and we know the angle is 45 degree, so we can say 2 AD cos 45, and also 450 LB acting opposite to that. So I had to put that 450 is equal to zero. So if I solve for that, AD comes out to be. Three hundred and eighteen point two LB. So since AD is this value, we know AD is equal to CD. CD also same thing. Three hundred and eighteen point two LB. So if you see uh, in CD, they they are facing the arrows are facing each other. It means it's a, it's in tension. And in AD, if you see arrows are opposite side, so it means it's in compression. So we have found all the values for AD and CD, and now we have to find AB. So let's take the values. Let's find it around. Let's see at A what happens. At A, so we we know AD already, but we have to find out AB. So to find the angle between them, uh, in order to find the a, AB, I can use AD to find the AB, but I have to know the angle between them. But uh, as I said already, we can find the height and height and the length are same. Therefore, we can say tan inverse four over four, which is equal to forty-five degree, right? Forty-five degree. So A is going to be at A. Uh, AB is going to be equal to this AD. We know already AD cos forty-five. So if we solve for that, it comes comes out to be two hundred 
25 lb and it's uh, it's tension because arrows are facing it uh, facing each other this therefore it's in tension and uh, now if we had to f the only thing left is bc so uh, let's see how can found it so since a b so since a is pushing 225 since this uh this should be equal to zero this is also 225 b is also 225 therefore this one also 225 so we know bc also equal to 225 lb and that's also in tension because arrows are facing each other so this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.